All right, welcome back to Rapid TCT Detroit. We're really excited to be here with Bontag co-exhibiting. They have debuted the new index system, which many of you online have been asking about tens of thousands of views now yeah, on the yeah. uh, debut video for this. So we're gonna be showing it for the first time on the show floor. Really excited to be here with Olaf. Yeah, hi, hi. Hey, Olaf. Hey, Ben. And uh, talk about the system. So Olaf, tell me, what is Index? So Index is a tool changer. It's not a tool head changer, but a tool changer. Okay. So what that means is that it swaps the filament path, the nozzle, the heat break, the heat sink, mm -hmm. and the filament path upwards. Okay. This means that you have minimal waste, you have very cost efficient solutions for a tool changer. So you get rid of the poop chute. You get rid of the poop chute, yeah, <laughs> okay. that's right. And it allows you to print like not only multiple color, colors, but also multiple materials and multiple nozzle sizes. Hmm. Yeah. So you're saying I could have carbon fiber nylon in one spool yeah. and have PLA in another or TPU in another. Or PBA in another. And PBA yeah. in another. And you could make something with all four of those materials. For sure, you yeah. can. Do you have any examples of stuff like that that you can show us? I yeah. mean, you can do stuff like this. This is fairly simple pipe. Uh, TPU combined with PLA. Mm. I mean, let your imagination soar, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah it's a uh, nice hard end caps, yeah. flexible center. Yeah. That's pretty cool. How do you do the fast heating? What, what's the idea over there? For now, it's a secret. Okay. <laughs> We're going to release uh, the news about that next week. Okay. But yeah, it's fast. It's fast. Okay, it's how fast? fast? About uh, between four and six seconds for the heat up of the nozzle itself. Mm -hmm. And then we'll allow for a couple more seconds for the heat to make it into the filament. Sure. Yeah, yeah, there's a bit of a delay gradient across the filament, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah there is. How long does it take to change a tool? Right now we're looking at about uh, 12 seconds per tool change. Okay. We're hoping to shave a couple of seconds off from that. So hopefully we'll end at around 10 seconds when all is said and done. Okay. I mean, that's significantly faster than, than anything else that's on the market, right, in terms of Tool changing. Especially when you compare it to like the pooping systems. Right. When you look at like the push XL, that's still pretty fast. Mm -hmm. But then it keeps the filament heated up. Right. And that means problems for filaments like PVA, which tends to crystallize and plug up and also. Right. And other filaments can get degraded over time. Mm -hmm. We don't have that problem here. Okay. Very cool. Tell me more about this extruder that's sort of independent of tools. How does that work? Yeah, so we're using a technology we call dynamic dual drive where the drive gears themselves can more or less sense the resistance of the filament and dig in harder when needed. Hmm. So it acts basically on back pressure of the hot end. Okay. Are you using sensors for that or is that all mechanical? All mechanical. All mechanically done. That's yeah, pretty yeah. cool. Any uh, mechanical system that has some intelligence built in is really interesting. Yeah, yeah. we're really proud of that feature. Yeah. yeah. And I hear that dual drive self-adjusting system isn't just going to be available for the index, right? For now it is, but hopefully we're going to make it into a standalone extruder yeah. if there's enough demand for it, for okay. sure. Yeah. Cool. All right, so if you want to see that, make some demands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need to know about it. Yeah. yeah. What are some of the other interesting features of the Index system? I mean, obviously it's the stuff I can talk about, the heating technology and that kind of stuff. I guess the price point is going to be very interesting for a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about that. We're hoping for the launch price to be 250 for the tool head mm -hmm. and 35 dollars for each tool okay that's extremely competitive yeah, yeah yeah that's the reaction we're going for right <laughs> very cool what platforms will this be available on so if i go and buy the system i pay the 250 dollars i buy a bunch of tools yeah. what do i do with it initially we're looking at the voron 2.4 the voron trident the sovol sv08 maybe a rat raid if there's enough demand please let us know and i mean Ask us, mm -hmm. tell us what machines to put it on and we will. Basically anything with a linear rail, right, would sort of be somewhat compatible with a, a few adjustments. Yeah, that yeah, right? that, that's pretty much it. I mean, age spots, core XYs, mm -hmm. Cartesian, bed racers, mm -hmm. would work, okay. machines like that. Very cool, awesome. When's your expected actual launch date for this? 
we're hoping for November, as with all things. I mean, you know, better than anyone, right. but that you never know. Right. <laughs> yeah, especially but, with the global uncertainties around trade right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure, with the tariffs. And yeah, stuff. yeah. So we're hoping for November. Okay. Is that a Formnext debut? Is that Formnext, the plan? Yeah. Formnext. Okay. Formnext. Yeah. So if you're watching from Europe, come to Formnext. Super cool show. It's in Frankfurt, Germany every year, yeah. and you'll get to see this thing in person. Anything else you want to say about this system? How can people find out more? Where should they go if they want to give their input and feedback? Yeah, please visit the landing page linked down below and you will find the link to our page where we offer stuff to sign up for our newsletter, uh, join our Discord, take a survey to like tell us what you think about this and what, what we should do with it. Yeah. yeah, obviously feedback is super important for any product development cycle, especially for something complex like this that is yeah. sort of agnostic to a specific system. Yeah. You need feedback to know which direction to build things. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Well, thanks for tuning in to see this special announcement of the index system from Bontech. We're here at Rapid TCT again, as I mentioned. Super excited to be here at the show here in Detroit, Michigan. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our newsletter at sliceandjourney.com as well. And don't forget to stay zesty. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Thank you, Dan. Yeah.